What's up guys, welcome to another gameplay video. It's a little bit early in the morning here, uh, so I've got my coffee. We're gonna jump into uh, some Azorius control matches once again. So I already played with this deck a little bit. I'm not gonna go over the whole thing, but it is uh, as near as makes very little difference. Uh, the exact list that PV used at Worlds. Uh, the only difference, we didn't have the, the Temple of Enlightenment. We didn't have any of them. Uh, and no wild cards at Rare. So, uh, unfortunately, we're subbing that out for two islands, two planes. Uh, but other than that, we are the exact list. You'll notice also we've got a whole new layout going on here. Uh, I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, this is an interesting hand. I do think we keep it. Turn one, obviously, Hollow Fountain. Uh, probably turn to Birth of Miletus. Uh, depending on what we draw, we may want to leave up Omen, but we'll we'll see. Uh, I do think this is a pretty strong hand. Probably going to be, yeah, the mono black aggro deck. Uh, that makes sense. So we're really digging for, well, Birth of Miletus is going to be good, uh, but we're really digging for uh, Shatter the Sky. Uh, absolutely, that is our goal. Uh, really cool little two card thing going on here. We'll go ahead and birth here. Um, next turn, it may be beneficial for us just to bounce the pride mate. Uh, cause obviously they're going to get in for a lot of damage if we don't. Ooh, hot coffee is still hot. Um, if you didn't watch worlds, uh, you really should go back and watch the, uh, the replays of it. It was... It was a really good uh, competition. Obviously, Worlds is going to be the best of the best, but uh, there was a lot of really awesome stuff that happened. So, if we do this bounce, we do lose to Fairy. Uh, but if they if they swing in, so let's let's try it. Uh, we do get to draw a card off of here. Bounce the Pride Mate. Uh, my assumption, obviously. Oh, perfect. Oh, pff, perfect. So. Play out that Prime Mate. Play out anything that you want. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying these gameplay videos. Uh, they're really fun, uh, I think. I really, really enjoy them. Uh, no blocks here. Will not matter. Uh, we're going to gain a couple life at the start of the turn. Probably shatter the sky. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, if we can do it just before the Prime Mate gets like, too big, uh, which was a bit of a mistake they didn't play that first. Uh, but here we go, so they are gonna, yep. Gain two life, perfect. We'll go ahead and play this, and I do think we just shatter here. The name of the game right now is just stay alive. <laughs> uh, that's literally all it is, so I'll, I'll take a four for one. Um, they do obviously draw a card because of the Ajani's Primate. Not great, but uh, not much we can do about that. Ooh, thank goodness we have Banishing Light here. So we will... We'll go ahead and Banishing Light. Uh, it's potential... The reason I'm doing this is so we can also Omen of the Sea. We could have Elspeth conquered death, uh, but... I don't super love that. I'd rather save that for a follow-up play. Uh, we'll get an island. That's fine. Yep. Go for it. Uh, baiting, obviously, or excuse me, representing a counter here. Yep, you got it. What would be great is another Shatter this guy. Um, solely because they're not obviously going to draw off of it anytime soon. Uh, unless they followed up with another Pride Mate, which it doesn't seem like that's the case. Conclave Tribunal. I'm going to give them the option here. I assume they won't take this, but definitely don't want either of those. Ooh, Teferi. I do like Teferi. Let's see. Yeah, you got that. That's fine. So here, mm -mm -mm. I think we just Elspeth Conquers Death on the uh, Spawn of Mayhem. I just think we can't let that uh, stay on the field. Um, yeah, that seems like the best thing. So we'll be able to get like a Teferi back or potentially a Narset. We'll see. Yep. 
just doing our best to stay alive at this point. Uh, that's cool. How do I want to do this? Do we just want to, to ferry? Or do we want a Narset? I think I kind of want a Narset. No. No, because I really do want to leave up Absorb. Um, yeah, let's do this. We will bounce the Pride Mate. And understanding that they will definitely just swing in uh, at Teferi again, which is totally fine. Uh, we'll get to absorb something. Do you want to absorb that? No, you can resolve that. That'll be fine. That we will absorb. So playing to the end of a shatter. Uh, if we get a shatter, that just means that, oh, okay, well, interesting. Um, I don't really know why they gave up there. That seems kind of silly. I don't think they needed to, uh, but hey, we won. Good for us. Uh, also, uh, I keep checking my phone, by the way. I'm sorry. Uh, we uh, posted trivia, which is not something we've done before, but I thought it would be kind of... I, I had a uh, epiphany last night, and I was like, hey, it'd be really fun to do just general magic trivia. It can be anything. Uh, the first one was what was the original, uh, it, the OG, actual original uh, flavor text on the card Traumatize on the first printing. Uh, not a lot of people got it right. A lot of people thought it was a completely different one. Do I like this hand? I don't know. This is a weird one. It has no card draw. It does have counter and it does have shatter. If we're not against an aggro deck, we do have Archon. You know what? This is one of those, like, probably not the best keeps, but I'm going to give it a shot here. Um, this could be a very incorrect, uh, keep. So... We will see. Oh, okay. So we are against the red aggro deck. Uh, so that just means Shatter is going to be like very on point. Um, we'll just play this. See what they do. Yep. Play out as much as you want. Dovin's Veto. Uh, here we just do that. I'm okay with taking some damage here. Like, if they just play out creatures, like, psh, whatever. Uh, we'll just shatter. Uh, that way, the following turn, we can leave up Absorb uh, for the backup. She got opponent. Let's see. Yep. You got it. If they do, yeah, if they light up the stage here. Let's go ahead and absorb that. Oh, crap, we should have dove in Zeta. Ah, my bad. Um, mana efficiency, yeah, that's why. Just keep them off of some cards here. Perfect. That just means we get to shatter that. I don't like that, obviously. Well, unless they just, yeah, by all means, do some stuff. If they've got another light up the stage... Uh, that would be pretty good. Oh, oh, that feels bad. Uh, I hate that. I genuinely hate that because they would have drawn a drawn, excuse me, a card off of this uh, had they not done that. That kind of sucks. Uh, but it is what it is. Unfortunately, just a misplay on the opponent's end. So, what do you got? Um, hopefully nothing too scary. Well, that's a good card. Uh, we'll spit out a token here. And I think what we're going to do is to fairy bounce. Uh, not the most exciting play in the world, but this does allow us to Dovin's Veto if they've got a non-land uh, play. Or, excuse me, a non-creature play. Um, that's not a non-creature play. Um, that is a very good card. So, we'll do this. We do just play Archon here. Uh, man, what a good card. Very, very good card. I think if they attack Teferi, I just let Teferi go. I don't think. <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to take it here. 
We can't kill it with the Archon, which is the problem. Oof, not good, not good. Uh, I think we just have to hold back here. I don't like that, uh, but we can Castle Ardenvale a 1-1 one -one just so we can kind of block this guy. And if we have to trade off here, I'm okay with it. It's not amazing, but I'll I'll happily do it. I'm wondering if they actually will attack with this. We could also alternatively double block here. Yeah, let's create a token. I'd rather get rid of this. Uh, I don't know how likely this is to work, but hey, it did work. Cool. And they didn't kill off the Archon? Are they going to finish it off with like a removal spell? No. Hmm. I think that must have been... That had to have been a misplay, right? That was bad. Uh, what do we want to do? Let's do this. Let's swing in, gain a little bit of life. We can always spit out blockers now, which is great, uh, thanks to Castle Ardenvale. If we don't do that, uh, we have Castle Vantress. I think we just would Ardenvale at the end of the turn uh, if they don't attack for some reason. Well, Dovin's Veto that. I don't know why you wouldn't do that in combat, though. That seems kind of silly. Yeah. Uh, let's create a token. Let's take the 1-1 one, one out. Uh, just mitigate. So if they do follow up with another uh, Torbron, Torbran, uh, I do not want to have like i don't want them to have a critical mass of uh creatures on the field we'll plus we'll attack in we're just slowly chipping away here and gaining our life back uh if they want to keep fighting the teferi fight that's fine um we do have absorb up now and dovin's veto so we are in a pretty good spot i think we just counter basically anything at this point um but we will see what they've got. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I think, honestly, you know, they're not winning the life gain race anymore. Um, but uh, I do kind of, I guess I could have spat out. Well, that's fine. Um, we'll attack in, get ourselves back up a little bit, and see what they got. That is what I don't want to see. Um, so now we're drawing to like a Shatter the Sky or something along those lines. Spit out our token. We'll block, that's fine. Uh, and let's scry. See what we can find. Definitely don't want that. Do we want this? I think perhaps we do. Uh, it lets us see more cards, so anything we can do to, to see a little bit more is great. Um, we'll thread. Yeah, we'll pass here. Uh, so if we need to, we can make the same block as we did prior. Uh, my my expectation would be that they would uh, kill this first because uh, it does deal four damage to it. Yeah, resolve. That's fine. Can I thirst for meaning? And yeah, I totally can. Sweet. What you got, opponent? Let's thirst. Um, I think we just discard that right now. Let's castle Ardenvale. 
and we will do the same block as we did before. Uh, we do have the Dovin's Veto back up, and if we don't use that, then we just get Omen of the Sea out. Yeah, you got it. Uh, technically, we should wait. Okay. So, let's see what we can get. If we can get Banishing Light, not bad. Yeah, I think we can take a Banishing Light. Um, it's not amazing, but it's, you know, it's something. Uh, let's Narset here first so we can dig. See what we want. Oh, perfect. Well, that's, that's what we were wanting. Uh, I think we wait for them. So we plus here and then wait for them to hopefully overcommit. Um, I'm going to attack in. It's a bit of a telltale sign that, like, obviously I've got, uh, I've got the shatter, but we'll see what they do. Um, also, uh, I should be mentioning, I guess, every video, but, uh, down below me, uh, you should be able to see a lot of, uh, proxies, um, shooting across the screen. If you would like any of those, uh, you can do so, you can find that, uh, link down below the actual gameplay video. Uh, so you can check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash it resolves. Uh, those are the February rewards. Uh, there is actually a mystery reward as well uh, for another tier up. Uh, by no means should you ever feel like you have to give us money. Please don't ever think that. But uh, if you're interested in those proxies or you're interested just in supporting what we do, uh, we obviously would really appreciate it. But that's obviously a, a great way to do it. So uh, just a heads up there. No pressure either way, of course. I think we take the backup shatter here. Uh, we really are just looking for, like, Dream Trawler. Uh, we can start spitting out these tokens as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Bounce a guy. Get our land. Don't really care about that, so let's pass. <coughs> They're going to obviously kill off something here, but we can just castle Ardenvale to block if we really want to. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, we still can block. Uh, does this get double strike and trample? Excuse me. Interesting. We can just exile the Ember Cleave. That's fine. castle and castle nope and nope I guess technically it would have been cheaper to do the uh, omen here um okay well let's do this get rid of the ember cleave uh, we will plus the fairy Swing in and start the very slow grind. Uh, but I do think, I mean, that's the great thing about this deck is through the land base, we actually get some good stuff and they concede. Awesome. Uh, so two games, uh, two and oh right now. Uh, we do even rank up to silver three. Yay. Uh, we do have one more game. So let's see what we can do. Uh, that one was a little bit grindy. And I do think there were a lot of misplays on the opponent's side. Don't know if that would have significantly mattered uh, in the long run. Uh, but it would, would be interesting to see how that would have played out differently. Uh, obviously misplays on mine as well as I'm still learning the deck, but hopefully you guys are enjoying it still. So we'll see if we can 3-0. Um, <clears throat> I've been very, uh, not unlucky, uh, just not, uh, sufficiently playing. Uh, so I've not been 3 0 like ever. Uh, this is not a great keep, but I will try it. Whoops. Let's Fable Passage. We'll go ahead and pull a, uh, a white source here. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll see what we get. Would love, like, ooh, I'm going to guess this is the Grixis control deck. Omen of the Sea. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to guess, like, Thought Erasure here. Like I said, um... 
I'm gonna go ahead and play this out. Uh, my assumption is, so Shatter is gonna be next to useless. We'll take the thirst. <clears throat> my assumption is they take Teferi or Dream Charler. Uh, either one, obviously very good. Teferi is the more immediate threat though, so that's why, yeah, I would assume. Um, and I'm, my guess is because they tend to run a lot of, uh, oh, well, that's good. Uh, they tend to lot, run a four of with the Thought Erasure, so my assumption is they could very easily have another one here. Uh, in which case we will, yep, we're Dovin's vetoing that. I love coffee. Coffee is the best. Okay. See what they do. If they have a another thought erasure, I'm gonna be a little salty about it. Uh let's thirst. They may have a counter here. Uh two reasons to not omen. Uh it's the one unknown card on their side. Uh and so having unknown information uh on their end it, I think is somewhat valuable. Uh but and I'm wondering, I don't think Elspeth Conqueror's Death is going to be amazing here. Um, their threats tend to be things like uh, this Night Vale Predator, which are a little bit difficult to deal with. Uh, we'll play that out. I think we just pass here. Uh, leave up Absorb plus Omen. Seems like the best play. Yeah, you can have Omen. That's fine. <clears throat> this card is really an interesting include uh i think it's very good considering how many like azorius control decks in particular and things like that are around but uh didn't expect that i haven't seen that card specifically very often <clears throat> yep let's absorb that one two three four so next turn we get to oh, we omen here and then we get to dream charler uh which my assumption is they will have some kind of answer to the dream charler uh which sucks but i th i think we just kind of have to make them have it so let's give it a shot uh we do get to hex proof it too which is nice if they have a sweeper it's a little bit tricky but oh yeah Good card, for sure. That does make it very difficult to actually uh, swing in here. Uh, what can we do? So this is a bit of a tricky spot. Obviously we could swing in. This just trades uh, because of the death touch. We cannot bounce it. Which really sucks. Um, we can bounce our own omen. Which is something. I guess I should have. Yeah, that's fine. Got a counter here. Nope, omen it. That's fine. Resolve. You do your thing. Let's see. Two at the bottom. Well, that's a good sign. I'm more interested to see what they end up doing here uh, on the swing back. So I think let's uh, go ahead and birth a Miletus, thin out our deck a little bit more, uh, and we'll pass here. Obviously, they can swing in. Yep. Okay, do your thing. If they've got another follow-up Night Vale Predator, that's going to suck. Which does make sense if they did swing in with it. So I can certainly see that that might be the case. They also could have just 
like seen that you know teferi probably can't live oh yeah oh no all those shatters that we put to the bottom might not have been the best idea um I don't know if we want this or not, is my problem. I think we want Narset, because that can help us dig here. My turn. Oh yeah, create our zero four. Woo. Well Narset. With absorb backup in particular is kind of nice. Not great, really not great, but that's fine. Uh, we'll do this so we can castle Art and Veil if we need to. Ugh, I don't know if it's right to attack in here. I have to assume it's not. these cards are very very good these night veil predators they uh, there were in uh i guess this is guilds of ravnica back in the guilds of ravnica days there was a whole cycle of these like two color well i guess uh ravnica allegiance as well there was a a cycle of these like four mana two and two uh two color kind of things and they were all very very good this one in particular i found to be one of the best uh, I mean, for four mana, you get a three three flyer with death touch and hexproof. Like that's that's insane. Uh, so definitely, definitely a powerful card. Let's see what they do here. Just swing with one. Oops. I'm gonna try and keep Narset alive here. We're playing to the end of a shatter anyway. We don't have a way to truly deal with these um, other than that. And so I don't think we have much option. And I'd rather be able to dig again next turn. Uh, definitely a bad call on my end to put the two. I think we've seen two shatters and we put both of them on the bottom. Uh, definitely not a good call on my end. Um, you don't think is these like blue black control decks in particular though having a ton of uh we don't want birth uh a ton of uh creatures but obviously they got to finish the game somehow so that was just a mistake on my side uh eh, it's not great play this i mean i can play elspeth conqueror's death it just doesn't do much of anything um can also narset again Let's do that. Oh, you battlefield. Not much good stuff going on. I think we just continue to card draw here. I don't think we have much other, many other options, excuse me. So let's pass. Ugh, this feels bad, guys. Uh, I mean, we're safe on life. Like, we've got plenty of, technically plenty of time, but, like, I don't think that's going to last. Um, and until we can get a way to, to truly deal with the Night Veil Predator, we just, we don't have an option here. So, there are, if I'm not mistaken, two Night Veil Predators in the graveyard. One on the field, that means there's most likely one more in the deck. So we kind of have to continuously leave up uh, Absorb. Do I care about this? No, not really. Uh, I guess I kind of do with Elspeth Conqueror's Death, but no, that's fine. Uh, still learning a bit about the deck, and I do think that that would have probably been a good safe counter, but that's okay. Probably a misplay on my part. Oh, this is an interesting game.
we'll just go ahead and absorb this. Anything to keep them off of extra stuff. Uh, let's omen. Let's see what we can get. I don't love either of those. I think, again, we're just playing to the end of Shatter. So, absorb. Eh, that's fine. Any kind of like counter backup right now is going to be great. Uh, just to keep them off of anything else is going to be really, really key. Um, ooh. Good card. Thos's Intervention is very sweet. I was kind of interested to see that Thos's Intervention was not included in this deck. I don't know how much I would love it, but yeah, it seems like a decent include. Uh, let's see. Should we Teferi here? I don't know. I think let's do this and bounce an omen. Uh, yes, we are just trading off to fairy here, but that's fine. Ooh. I think we wait a turn, actually. I want to be able to leave up counter magic here. Yeah, let's do that. I just hope they don't have another <laughs> spell like that. Uh, miss if they thought erasure, no, mystical dispute doesn't get it done. Okay, trade off. Yep, do the thing. By the way, the reason I'm holding off is so I can leave up a uh, counter spell backup, um, which may or may not be the most correct thing, but I do think makes a lot of sense. It doesn't truly I mean they can just pay for the mystical dispute so I'd, and and I know that like the relevance of mystical dispute is getting a little low but if they do this they pay for it then this just happens anyway if they've got a follow up play I'd like to counter it so like thought erasure here cool just counter it um, that seems, seems a little better, uh, to me. All right, let's activate. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a planes here. And then let's shatter. So we can Elspeth Conquers Death, but in case they've got the next Night Veil Predator, I think I just have to leave up Absorb. Uh, if we can deal with that last Night Veil Predator, we're in a much better place since we have Castle Arden Veil. Uh, again, uh, this is a bit of a long shot game. These are two very strong control decks against each other, so it's a little silly. Oh, and they have Negate back up. That feels kind of bad. Uh, Alright, let's Omen. See what we can draw. Uh, what are we looking for? We want to just start finishing the game is ideally what we want to do. We've got the Elspeth Conquer's Death. Let's take the Dovin's Veto, though. Dovin's Veto to counter their negate. This is just going to be a counter war. Um, could have scribed there. Don't think I needed to. Let's Elspeth Conquer's Death. They're going to negate, I assume. That's fine. Dovin's Veto is very, very good in my opinion, uh, just because of these kind of matchups. It's just such a, like, nope, you can't, you can't do anything. Uh, we do get to exile the Narset here. We're gonna pay the two life. <laughs> uh, just so we have Absorb back up in case anything happens. And we'll go ahead and end the turn. What do we have in the graveyard? 
I mean, they've got ways to exile in the graveyard, which is really... This is really cool tech, the cling to dust. Uh, very, very sweet. We absorb it. I hope they don't have a counter. If they do... Yeah. Very little we can do about that now. Unless we just get another shatter. Which would be amazing. Um... Hmm. Should we just go ahead and do this? Let's get rid of their scries. Just to get rid of their attack here. Um, we'll pull the flames. I don't think that's gonna... I honestly think we just leave up as much mana as we can for the Scry. This is a very grindy game, though. Uh, I, I mean, we're both above our starting life totals, uh, significantly on my end, uh, but that obviously is going to be changing very quickly. Um, it's just a matter of who can get the answer first, which is crazy. I mean, this is how control matchups tend to go. Uh, a little unexciting a lot of the time, because it's just kind of counter war back and forth, but... It is what it is. Uh, you can't can't help it too much. No and no. We're just gonna keep going for it. <clears throat> Scry everything. Would be somewhat beneficial to leave up counter magic here, uh, but I don't plan to. We'll do that. I do think Narset's going to be bigger here, but they obviously get to potentially counter it. Is this instant? Yeah, it is instant. <clears throat> I question whether they actually care, though. Um, yeah, okay. So... We thirst for meaning here. Digging for, well. Let's get rid of that. Yep, you got it. Now we just kind of have to hope they don't have a counter. I mean, we got to go for it. If they've got it, they've got it, but we got to make them have it. Which I think they do. Maybe. Maybe not. Yes. Okay. So. This really isn't going to matter very much. So I think we'll just. Uh, we'll just pass. We can scry. Uh, or just start creating little one ones. And then uh, hopefully taking over the game that way. We'll see. They've had these two cards in their hand. Two or three cards in their hand for its, what seems like quite a while. So I'm interested to see what they are. Yep. Very, very grindy game here, guys. I do think at this point we just start Castle Arden Veiling as much as possible. Um, they probably, I mean, my assumption is they've got, you know, a Ritual of Soot or uh, the Cry of the Carnarium, like something like that to kind of sweep the board, but... Uh, I do think, again, we just have to make him have it. Uh, there's not much else we can do. Yep. Let's create our 1-1. One, one. Uh, arguably, we could have either scryed or done the 1-1 one, one thing. Uh, I'm going to go for the 1-1. One, one. It's an on-board threat versus uh, needing to pull something else. Um, but we'll see. I'm just going to make them have to leave up some mana here. And we'll just we'll play this out. This is not how you should play, by the way. You should sandbag uh, as much as possible against another control deck. So that is not necessarily the right thing to do. Uh, but yeah, that's fine. I don't care too much about that, to be honest. Um,
<laughs> yeah. Wow, they got Archon and Shatter. Well, this game is going to be real tough now. Um, spit out our token. This is going to be really difficult. I don't think... How many cards do we have left? We only have 12 cards left. Uh, yeah, we pass. I think we've lost. Uh, I really do. They've got more cards in deck. Uh, they've got a very much a stronger threat out. Um, we're going to take it. Because we're at a healthy life total, I'd rather try and get up to more of these guys to potentially be able to trade off or something like that. <laughs> yeah, see that land. <laughs> uh, definitely a very grindy, rough game. Uh, very fun, one, fun game though, and well done uh, on their end to include things like cling the dust, cling to dust, and things like that. Again, and this may just be my lack of experience. Uh, I've not seen. First of all, normally uh, the blue-black variants tend to also run red, uh, at least in my experience, for things like Croxa, um, or Croxa, uh, however you want to say it. I have not seen many just straight blue-black control decks. Uh, very strong, though. Obviously very, very good. Uh, love the addition of Cling to Dust. Very sweet card. Well, we can double castle now. Uh, yeah. So now if we really want to, we can just start pumping out some more 1-1. One -one. <laughs> oh, this is silly. I don't think, we can't win in time is the problem. Even if we could deal with this, which we may be able to this time, um, there's no way we can do it in enough time. Yeah. And like, if they just have a removal spell, we're done. Like, there's a million different things they could have here. I'm actually not going to block on the very strong chance they would have a removal spell. I don't care to uh, to run into it. They're blue-black. Like, of course they've got a removal spell. Um, yeah. What you got here? Mystical Dispute, probably one of the worst cards we could draw right now, other than a land. Um, we swing in. I mean, we are spitting out more tokens, but like, it's not gonna matter that much. <laughs> I just have to, because of my like deck count, I have to really, really push. Well, I do get to counter that. Unless they have a counter. Yep, they do. No, well, that's fair. Yeah, you got it. Feels bad, guys. Feels very bad. Not much we can do, though. This definitely feels like I should just concede, but I'm not. Until I'm definitely dead, which I pretty much am, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah, they're five cards away. Don't think this is going to be possible. All right. If they've got one more like decent thing here, I'm going to concede, I think. Having just said, I'm not going to concede. Uh, I will block, just jump block here. Yes. Scrying out on, at this point, I don't think really matters. Well, I guess we can Banishing Light. That's pretty good. I mean, my guess is they've got a counter, because at this point, all they have to do is have a counter. Um, it, the rest of the cards are really not going to matter that much. Um, Spanishing light. 
see what they got. If they have a counter, I'm conceding. Yep. Okay. Well done by the opponent, and still no 3-0, but uh, very fun deck. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry for the grindy match in that last one, but uh, very, very fun deck. I highly recommend trying out Azorius Control if you have not already. Uh, please check out our links down below. Obviously, our Instagram and our Patreon are there. You can pick up the rewards still until the end of February. Uh, every single month we refresh those, so uh, you do get stuff every month for as long as you're signed up. So thanks so much, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will hopefully see you in the next gameplay video very soon.